checking my battery on my CRV for the power of Bluetooth. Ta-da! Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Today we're checking out a new AutoFix unit from the family of AutoFix products. We'd like to thank them for sending this over and sponsoring this video. Today we're specifically looking at the AutoFix BT1 Lite Smart Battery Tester. And when you say the word smart, uh, part of the battery tester, this does pretty comprehensive testing. Obviously it'll tell you your voltage. It'll also check uh, while you're charging and starting the car to get your cranking amps. It'll also check your starter and the uh, running charging voltage of your alternator. So pretty comprehensive unit here. And there's also an Android slash iOS app for this that we're going to download and install. And you'll be able to see the screen record as we use this. To get started, we're going to open this up and then we're going to go out and hook it up to a car and uh, see what's going on with the car. Let's start with unboxing this right now. Taking a look inside here, the main unit itself feels pretty solid looking at it. We've used a few of these on the channel and this one feels, you know, solid, just like a, you know, good, good unit should. I do see a USB-C down here. So I'm curious what that's for. Let's look underneath the foam to see what's under here. Absolutely nothing. So I thought there would be some kind of USB-C cable or something, but overall this feels solid, you know? The clamps are very, very uh, powerful. Buttons clicky. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get that app downloaded and then we'll uh, get it connected to this and then we'll go out and uh, give it a try. So real quick, this actually, when I pulled that foam out, it popped out of the box, but here's the comprehensive owner's manual. Forget my sarcasm, but uh, Quick reference guide, and I'm sure the rest of the data is in the app that we're going to go download and install right now. Okay, so we are here with my 2005 Honda CRV, and looking at this, we uh, didn't get video screen recording of the app actually downloading and installing, but this is a Pixel 7a, so any Android or iOS device per AutoFix should work with this. So once we got the app installed, we did a firmware update. There is firmware in this, and you can see the green light flashing here. This has a battery in it. That's what that USB-C port is for. This was charging in the house, unconnected from the car. So um, we did a firmware update. So this is up and functional. So everything's, everything's good. So be prepared for that to, when you pull this out of the box. Now that that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and go to an in-vehicle test. And you'll see that on one of the sides of the screen here. I'm just gonna hold the phone. In-vehicle test, and it's asking for the VIN, but I'm going to put in a Honda and a 2005 and then a CRV. And if you see on the bottom of the uh, screenshot here, it stock was 410 cold cranking amps. That is tiny, such a tiny battery, but we have flooded CCA 500 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Turn off electrical accessories, turn off the ignition, close all vehicle doors. And so checking all three boxes, we're gonna start testing. It's detecting the battery, which shouldn't take too long considering it's connected to the battery. Battery is good health, that's good to see. And it says ensure the ignition is off. Waiting for the vehicle to start. So Jay's gonna stay here, I'm gonna go start the car. Let's take a look here. Okay, so cranking normal. Turn off electrical appliances, none of that's running. Sorry for yelling, we'll get away from the engine running there. Keep the engine speed at two to 3,000 RPM. I'm gonna take my phone with me, Jay's gonna stay right there. And press continue. Okay, so we're at 2,000 RPM. I'm holding it at 2,000 RPM. Release the gas pedal, there we go. Turn on electric appliances, headlights, air conditioning. There we go, continue. Keep the engine speed at 2000 RPM. I will mention if you're going to do this test, maybe consider doing it on a warm engine and not a cold engine. There we 
go. Okay, release the pedal, turn the ignition off, and electric appliances, headlights off, and I'm going to turn the car off. And then I'm going to press continue. Okay, so everything looks good. And as you can see on the screen here, you have a 81 millivolt ripple. I can't sit here and say, you know, off the top of my head that that's good or bad, but the system is saying it's good. It's giving me a green thumbs up, so to speak, on all three units, the alternator, battery, and starter. So I'm happy to see that. Let me click the report here. Okay, so we have a good battery. 75% state of charge coming in at 537, I believe that's cranking amps or cold cranking amps. I'm actually not sure that it doesn't say, but uh, everything looks good here. I'm saving, there we go. Let me actually get out of here, there we go. Now I'm gonna click done. Okay, and so let's look at, if we were gonna do an out of vehicle test, this is with a battery on the bench. So if I took the battery out of the car and I had it at a shop or something, you could do a similar test minus the obviously the starter and the alternator, but uh, you could go ahead and hit start testing. Let me just pretend the battery is out of the car, so to speak, and it's not gonna ask us to start the car because it thinks there's no actual car in this equation. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's saying the battery's pretty good, and if I wanted to create a report, here's my official report, and I could save it. And let's go back, let's keep hitting the back button here. Okay, so here's our history, and you can see where I did a CRV and then a battery test, so it's kind of nice to see that. If you were using this as like a shop, like a quick uh, lube repair place, you could do a quick test and then have the reports to show customers. And on the top right corner of your screen here, you actually see 12.5 volts. So as long as it's connected to the car, it's giving you the overall voltage of the battery. Uh, repair reports, I didn't save any, but they're right there. And here is an update. If you have any updates that you were looking to do, in here is your actual settings or uh, English metric and so on and so forth. So if you did want to log out, but overall, not a bad unit, uh, solid. Yeah, did a very quick job. It only took, I don't know, two minutes to test the battery, the starter, and the alternator. I'd say this is worth picking up. You can uh, check out the link for this in the description of the video you're watching right down here. And uh, we also had a top Don version of this, which is different but the same. And uh, we'll leave the link for that video as well. You can take a look at that one because it was also Bluetooth and it had a pretty neat uh, operating setup just like this one. With that, if you like uh, scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like uh, keeping your cars fixed up and certified fresh, Fresh Vintage Garage is your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.